producing oxygen precisely counterbalance cells consuming oxygen, creating a stable environmental state. As new elements are introduced, we jeopardize stability and habitability. Evidence indicates things like burning fossil fuels, cutting down forests, and farming animals all release new gases into our atmosphere, upsetting the balance, transforming our world. Just like the cells of a body work together to sustain life as an individual, organisms work together to sustain the ecosystem. Theories indicate that over about 1 billion years, planetary factors and geology led evolution from eukaryotic cells to the first animals. Evidence suggests primordial cells passed on genes that, when activated, create a protein to repair DNA breaks. Broken DNA causes genome instability. This distracts the protein from other work and alters the epigenome, which tells the cells which genes to turn on. Cells lose their identity and eventually become sterile. Evolution didn't select for immortality as a lifespan seems to be sufficient in passing along genes. Brains develop to autonomously administer processes like breathing and digesting. Like the nucleus of a cell protects DNA and conducts cell activities, the brain is a centralized concentration of neurons that oversee the whole body's activities. Our reptilian ancestors evolved feelings towards things that encourage survival. A wound or broken limb is a loss of physical being inhibiting survival and thus an adverse sensation. A feeling of relief and calm permeates the body when we orgasm as it is the only way for our genetic information to live on after our death, encouraging us to make decisions to produce the feeling, regardless of the outcome. Sadness, fear, joy, all evolutionary traits caused by the brain triggering the release of hormones and other chemicals as a survival mechanism. We believe mammals evolved a neocortex on top of the old reptilian brain capable of modeling environments, consciously making predictions, and instructing reactions based on the things we've experienced, our reference frames. At a high-level view, our brain acts as a distributed voting system consisting of thousands of columns that build complete models of our world. Each column acts as a mini-brain, references its models, and votes in order to make predictions. Cortical grid cells and wear columns of our neocortex attach reference frames to our body. We can look at our hand and predict its location relative to the body. What columns attach reference frames to objects? We can look at an object and, using reference frames, predict its location relative to our location. This allows us to calculate how to move our hand to objects. We're also able to learn concepts by assigning reference frames to previously learned frames. We can know what Elon and Mark look like and without seeing them together, create a rendering in our minds. Just like our physical presence is at a specific place in time, so is every thought. Our perception seems to be the consensus of thousands of tiny brains voting. Subscribe and stay tuned as we'll further discuss the neocortex and intelligence in an upcoming episode. Evidence also suggests that there may have been selection in favor of enthusiasm towards killing. One wrong decision could mean death. Awareness and reaction speeds increased. Alphas emerged as a reactive mechanism to suppress proactive aggression. Some theorize that humans evolved as chimps began communicating and forming coalitions against the rising alpha males. Humans built tools and harnessed fire. The ability to cook food was discovered, and less time was spent chewing. Eventually, smaller teeth, jaws, and other select traits evolved. Freedom for exploration, new activities, and discovering ways to increase efficiencies emerged. Language allowed our ancestors to exchange references and concepts. As we learn references from others, though, our past frames mesh with learned frames from a completely different perspective resulting in new frames. Oh, oh, okay. Considering every single one of us will always contain different frames of reference, 100% agreeing on everything will never happen. It's, it's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It there are fundamental objective truths to our universe, though, 
and having a skewed perspective on them can be deadly. By working together to understand objective information, we can all at least share a fundamental basis of knowledge. A similar framework can lead to less conflict and more alignment. Although most life is mortal, we've found organisms like planarian that don't seem to age. They've been in physical continuity for 400 million years. A piece of them can be cut off and a complete body and head will grow back. Their genome, or cellular instruction, is an incredible mess compared to humans. Yet it seems that scratches in our epigenetic information cause aging. Would we really be the same person if a few cells were used to regenerate another one of us though? Well, two brains would lead to two different sets of reference frames, each with their own consciousness. So how do we repair and reverse the age of our current anatomy? Luckily, our continued research, creations like AI, blockchain technology, and quantum computing can help us conquer aging and reduce scarcity, allowing for more free time and less stress. Our old, selfish, subconscious reptilian brain is wired for aggression and unaware of concepts like how our actions influence the environment. Our new, logic-based brain allows us to fight the old brain, learn how our universe works, and that violence isn't necessary in order for us to live on as individuals Famous. and as a species. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup! Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup!